Welcome to Contact. We're very glad that you joined us today and we're continuing our series New Horizons with a message called The Past is Gone. Wow, that's that's something yeah. I love. But one of the most important aspects of living in the present and moving toward a bright future is to live in the present. Part of this process is learning from our past successes and failures while leaving them behind us and living in the now. So this is what this message is all about. I just right. think it's so powerful. Right, and and it should be said also uh, that the blood of Jesus Christ is, is the only thing actually that can put all the bad stuff behind you. Yeah, and it and, actually does do that. Right, it it does. And yes. then, but God uh, also keeps a record of the good things. Right, you so know, from the past. If you find yourself, you know, like struggling to. Um, get out of um, you know like a behavior pattern that is just really not profitable in your life. You really need to stay tuned in to hear some answers that are going to help break that off your life. We'll be right back. As bodies of light in this darkened world, we stand out, guiding the lost to restoration. And this October, you can be a part of FLM's most empowering event of the year. Camp Meeting 2023, Body of Light, this October 11th through 15th. Gain insight and wisdom from some of today's most influential speakers, including Nancy Dufresne, Jerry Savelle, Keith Moore, Tim Story, Pastor Randy Gilbert, and Perry Stone. If you feel like your light has faded, this is your time. Get ready to be recharged, healed, and driven towards the plans and purposes God has for you. Together, we are a beacon of hope in a world desperate for answers. Be a witness to the revival. Camp Meeting 2023, Body of Light, October 11th through 15th. For more information, go to our website at faithlandmarks.org. Are you ready? It's time to travel back to a period where castles and kingdoms, swords and shields, and medieval games were a spectacle to behold. Come to Kidstown this October 11th through 15th for Kingdom Quest. Embark on a grand adventure to discover the many exciting characteristics of God and the majesty of the King of Kings. With fun-filled activities, crazy skits, and epic games, there won't be a moment you'll want to miss. Grab your armor and save the date. Find out more on our website at faithlandmarks.org slash kidstown. Kidstown Kingdom Quest, October 11th through 15th at Faith Landmarks Ministries. Hallelujah. Okay, so uh, we're in a new horizon. Glory to God. We, we, you know, the, the image of the, the morning sun rising that you just saw on the screen is one of the beautiful things that God has done. Now, rec recognizing, you know, when you're looking at the horizon in one place, uh, if you travel to another place, it's going to be on a different time frame. But th that's the marvel of how God does things. It's multifaceted every way that you look at it. Okay, so Philippians chapter 3, uh, verse 13, uh, the Apostle Paul speaking, he says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, in other words, I'm not done, I'm still on the way, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things that are behind and reaching forth unto those things that are before, now, that, that's, that's a, uh, when you're in a new horizon, actually it should be all the time that, that you let the past go by. It's no longer your reference point for reality. Hallelujah. You, uh, the only thing actually uh, really good, we're, we're going to talk a little bit about this. What's good in your past is you got saved. God filled with the Holy Ghost. God moved on your behalf did great things, hallelujah. Those things will stand, need to stand, but every, all of the damage of sin is gone and need to let it go, which is part of what we'll be talking about here today. Okay, so reaching forward to those things which are before. 
Now, this takes uh, a little work uh, for a believer to read the word, look forward prophetically into what God has planned for each of us. So uh, it's an eternity of blessing. We don't, you know, technically, we don't even know how to relate to eternity. Because uh, everything that you know about life is relative to a time frame. But eternity doesn't have time. It's, it's just like you just take it out, you know. And, and then, wow, does that mean everything freezes? No. It goes on in eternity. Hallelujah. God is good. Yeah. Hallelujah. So you get to find out for yourself. Hallelujah. All right. So then verse 14, he says, I press toward the mark, mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So I'm pressing into something. How about you? Press into your future. Hallelujah. And you have a new heart. Hallelujah. Now today, specifically what we want to also do is help people whose hearts hurt. Yeah, yeah the, your heart is the sensitive part of you. And sometimes believers know how to do everything for other people, but they don't know how to allow themselves to be healed or delivered. From things. So we're, we're going to talk a little bit about that today. But you have a new heart. Hallelujah. Yeah. And so I want to show you some things that will help you today to come out from behind, specifically, of the residue of condemnation that hangs sometimes in people's lives. Uh, unwanted. Often it's unknowing. You know, if, if there's one thing that has happened with this generation of believers you've watched with your own eyes, what happens with believers that are not ready for the future? Hallelujah. Because, the, you know, the, the, uh, the future involves all kinds of things. Here on the earth, it involves all of the anger and the destruction of, of darkness, but we're the ones that are well suited to deal with that. Got to remember for people in the world, everything happens to them, but then they don't have an answer for it. See, we're the ones with the answer. Hallelujah. So you're, you know, you're suited for the environment that you're in and you're able to transition through this whole thing and move on into the next phase that God has for you. All right, so uh, things that are past are done and gone. Praise the Lord. Now, there's things in God's, uh, that uh, God has in the past that he's going to hold on to, like Calvary. You know, and the New Testament mentions this more than once, is Jesus is not going to go back and do it again. It was well done the first time. And so what happens, you know, it's, it's that the, even the scars on Jesus' body will be there as a reminder throughout eternity in the new Jerusalem. So it's a good thing. And it will remain. Are you out there? All right. So then one of the other things that uh, God holds on to is Israel's deliverance out of Egypt. Remember, God made a promise to Abraham about his seed, and then he, the nation of Israel started calling on his name. 400 and some odd years later, God responded to their call and delivered them out of bondage. Hallelujah. All right, so uh, I want to show you another part of this. If you would please go with me over to the book of Hebrews uh, chapter 10. We're going to dig into one particular word uh, with some detail uh, to help you. Uh, hallelujah. So the conscience of man, uh, praise the Lord, uh, is, is, well, sometimes people have a weak conscience that, that really doesn't do well, uh, bear up against adversity. 
you know, sometimes people just kind of wilt when, when um, problems come their way. And that's because of the inner man, the voice of the inner man, your conscience. All right, so I want to uh, read this first of all to you, and then we're going to sort of pull it apart, if you will. Uh, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 1, it says, For the law, that's talking about the law of Moses, having a shadow of good things to come, and not the very image of the things, can never with those sacrifices which they offered year by year continually make the comers thereunto perfect. Perfect means entire, complete, finished. Hallelujah. So, and, and what he's referring to, and, and I'm, you know, selecting passages, so I'm not reading the entire passage to you, but the blood of bulls and goats, which, which was the original agent that bound uh, the Abrahamic covenant, the blood of bulls and goats was never intended. God knew it wouldn't happen, was never intended, and wouldn't do the job of removing sin from people. Okay? Hallelujah. Uh, verse uh, 2, it says, For then would not they have ceased to be offered. So the, the blood and bulls and goats, and what, what that's talking about, there was a remembrance of sin made every year. So they never got, they never had the privilege of getting past what had been previously done. Now, if, if there were really bad incidents and such in their life, then they, they had it re, to remember every year at a particular time. Now, you know, one of the things that we've learned about the upcoming holiday season is thank God for Jesus' birth. Thank God for Christmas. But one thing that we realized is not every person meets Christmas with joy because it, it, it has a tendency to remind them of bad things done in the past, meaning they're still wounded. Hallelujah. Now, we, you know, we're, we're not uh, coming down on anybody. We're here to help people. Okay? But uh, the reality is, is that uh, some people are kind of get left behind when it comes to being made whole. And that's what we want to talk about today. How do you get all of that in your past? How do you get it off of you? Well, it should be understood the only thing that actually has the power to break the power of deeds done in the past is the blood of Jesus. Okay, hallelujah. All right, so I, I want to read this to you again, make sure that you get this. For the law, having a shadow of good things to come, which is the New Testament, and not the very image of the things, and so it was never intended to be exactly like the New Testament, can never with those sacrifices, which they offered year by year, continually make the comers thereunto perfect. That's a really wound up sentence, isn't it? Verse two, for then would they not have ceased to be offered, because that the worshipers once purged should have had no more conscience of sin. Now, that word conscience is translated many different ways, different passages, uh, different translations in the New Testament. Hallelujah. But I, I'm going to get the Greek word and break it down for you so that you understand more fully what he's talking about. At minimum, we should expect that you will be completely cleansed of all evidence of sin in the past. That's the intention of the blood of Jesus, is to let you go completely free. But like we said, there are, you know, sometimes people, even believers, sometimes people really have a hard time dealing with the past. So I'll give you an example uh, of the way that works. Sometimes people are reminded. Uh, we do, uh, you know, as a church body, we, we uh, do a lot of ministry and helpful things for people that are bound by substance abuse, drugs and alcohol. Now, you know, there's different approaches for helping people, but one of the things is to uh, just simply address behavior modification so that people will be able to let go of what they're doing that's destroying them, like alcoholism, for, for, for instance. That's just a for instance. Hallelujah. 
God is good. But uh, in the doing of that, and you can see kind of a reflection of what I just read in this, in the doing of that, the program that they have to get people off of alcohol leaves a mark on the people. Because what they have to do in, in putting off the drinking of alcohol, which can be done, it, it, it's, it can be psychological. It's, it's yeah, it, it is behavior modification. It's possible. Okay, and, and a lot of people get free, but then they, they leave this mark that they must continually identify themselves as an alcoholic. They have to say it with their mouth. In fact, every time they have a meeting, they start out with telling everybody, I'm an alcoholic. So what, that, uh, that, what that's telling you is the mark of it is still there which means the thing can and does come back. Now, when you do it God's way, he, he says, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna change your name. So that not only is the power of the substance broken over you and the spirit of alcoholism has to go, but you're not going around identifying yourself with the, the disease. You know, that actually goes for any disease now that you're, you're a believer. Praise the Lord. But uh, what, what you do is you replace uh, what you used to be with what he made you to be. So you're a new creature in Christ Jesus and you don't say what you used to be. You don't identify yourself that way. Now, it's one thing to share a testimony, okay, but it's another thing to call yourself something. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm not a drug doer. None of that. I got washed, cleansed. I've been made whole. Everything in my past is gone by the shed blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's a matter of learning how to, to receive the power that's in the blood to cleanse you. Hallelujah. God is good. So then your heart goes, wow, I'm free because your conscience is not bothering you. Now, I'm going to dig, like I said, I'm going to dig a little bit into this word conscience that's there. It's really a Greek word. Okay, Old Testament is Hebrew. New Testament is Greek. So this is a Greek word, and it is very, was very common in the Greek language. So, uh, and I'm probably not saying it right, but it's sunesis, just for conversational purposes. Hallelujah. And it literally means, uh, it's ref uh, you know, it, it fits because it refers to the, the inside of man. Okay, but sunesis literally means a double witness. So that, you know, and, and here's what it, what it comes down to. Are, are you out there? Yeah. Uh, with the inner man, you uh, believe that you've been made righteous. But if you see the outer man continuing to act not like a Christian, then there's, there's, it, there's no double witness. Your conscience doesn't work. You have a hard time dealing with life. You know, bumps in the road come along, and I just use Christmas as an example. It just happens to come on a particular day, but it floors people. You know, sometimes it's birthdays, sometimes it's remembering people that passed and things of that nature. Are you out there? Uh, bad things that happen in your life. And you should be able to be delivered from your past. Everything that has happened for you is now in your past. And so you have a new horizon that is unmarred. Hallelujah. And, and we'll continue that way. Aren't, aren't you excited about that? Yeah. Glory to God. Okay, so sunesis means to have a double witness. So, so in the, with the Greek people, to them, uh, what it was about is there was a, a, a conflict between immorality between the body and the soul. Okay, and so uh, a person would have a problem with their conscience 
and would never be able to come to a place of rest and balance if their actions didn't say the same thing as their inside intentions. Now, that, that's actually the description that the Apostle Paul talked about in Romans chapter 7. Hallelujah. Are, are you out there? Glory to God. Okay. So, uh, it's, it's a double witness, but the blood of Jesus, see, here, here's the thing. Uh, the blood of Jesus is able to cleanse you. Welcome back. And again, we're really glad that you're with us today on Contact. Uh, the past is behind us. You know, when, when you look at it from a, a standpoint of time, time just uh, moves things behind us. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then people deal with the lingering effects. Uh, sometimes it's emotional. Sometimes it's circumstantial. They still carry wounds. Right. They haven't been healed from. Right. So uh, a believer needs to learn how to use the blood of Jesus to put the bad stuff behind you. Right. And so, and you just really, really believe what the Bible says. You know, if God says he's forgiven you, then you just need to receive that and forgive yourself. Another thing is uh, like what you shared about presenting your body as a living sacrifice, because if you don't start doing some new things with your body, yeah. like going to church, worshiping God, you know, getting involved, using in, it to do good things, then, then, you know, your body will choose other things yeah, to do. You're, you're, <laughs> and your brain will just keep remembering those bad things that you used to do. Yeah. That's why we have an exciting event that we do annually coming up right at this important time of the year. We're right heading into the holidays. There's so many things that happen, memories with people. We have a camp meeting packed with powerful ministry. We've got some exciting guests, Nancy Dufresne, Jerry Seville, Keith Moore, Tim Story, and Perry Stone. So be sure to join us in person October 11th through 15th. Get infused with new faith and power. Now, if you're not able to join us in person, uh, each evening service will be streamed live on our website and also on our YouTube and Facebook live accounts. All the information you need about camp meeting can be found on our church website, faithlandmarks.org. We'd also like to invite you to partner with us in spreading the gospel and the good news of Jesus Christ around the world by becoming a contact partner. Now you can find partnership information on our contact website, contact.tv. You can click on the partnership tab and that will help you uh, give to support this broadcast, our worldwide missions and our local outreach programs. There you can do that on the give tab. Yeah, and also we have a Bible school. We recently started, and this, this is on site and online, but we recently started uh, the new trimester for the year in, in the fall, okay? And it's called Faith Landmarks Bi Bible Institute. And so the on site portion of that has already begun, but you can apply right now uh, for the classes that are coming up in the winter trimester. And, or you can take classes online and learn at your own pace. Online classes run continuously throughout the year and are available on demand. Visit flbi.org or contact the school office for more information. Now here's some interesting and exciting things that are coming up shortly. As bodies of light in this darkened world, we stand out guiding the lost to restoration and this October, you can be a part of FLM's most empowering event of the year, Camp Meeting 2023 Body of Light, this October 11th through 15th. Gain insight and wisdom from some of today's most influential speakers, including Nancy Dufresne, Jerry Savelle, Keith Moore, Tim Story, Pastor Randy Gilbert, and Perry Stone. If you feel like your light has faded, this is your time. Get ready to be recharged, healed, and driven towards the plans and purposes God has for you. Together, we are a beacon of hope in a world desperate for answers. Be a witness to the revival. Camp Meeting 2023, Body of Light, October 11th through 15th. 
For more information, go to our website at faithlandmarks.org. Are you ready? It's time to travel back to a period where castles and kingdoms, swords and shields, and medieval games were a spectacle to behold. Come to Kidstown this October 11th through 15th for Kingdom Quest. Embark on a grand adventure to discover the many exciting characteristics of God and the majesty of the King of Kings. With fun-filled activities, crazy skits, and epic games, there won't be a moment you'll want to miss. Grab your armor and save the date. Find out more on our website at faithlandmarks.org slash kidstown. Kidstown Kingdom Quest, October 11th through 15th at Faith Landmarks Ministries. With on-time messages, exciting events, an active children's ministry and youth group, Bible school, and much more, there will always be something for you and your family. Come worship, receive, and fellowship with us every Sunday morning at 8.30 and 10.30 a.m., Sunday evenings at 7 p.m., and Wednesdays at 7.30 p.m. Want to find out more about us? Visit our website at faithlandmarks.org. We look forward to seeing you here at Faith Landmarks Ministries. Small groups. Small groups? So what are small groups anyway? If you're thinking groups that are small, you're on the right track. Small groups make it easy for you to fellowship and connect with the local church body. If this sounds like something you're interested in, you can simply go to faithlandmarks.org or use the Realm app and search small in the events section. Let's grow together in community as we fellowship in small groups. With beginner and advanced classes available, Faith Landmarks Academy of the Arts can take your God-given talent to the next level. View any of our available classes online by going to faithlandmarks.org and clicking on the FLAA tab. Thank you for joining us today on Contact, and we want to invite you back uh, next week for more of this series, New Horizons. We also want to remind you that you can join us in person for any of our weekly services and upcoming events here at Faith Landmarks Ministries. You're always welcome. Uh, if you can't join us in person, you can also stream our events and services online and on demand at faithlandmarks.org or any of our contact broadcasts on contact.tv. May God continue to bless you, and we'll see you next time on Contact.